वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ बजट ट्रैकर वेब एप्लीकेशन विच इज मेड बाई यूजिंग गूगल सीट एज ए डेटा बेस एंड गूगल वेब एप स्क्रिप्ट ओके सो दिस बजट ट्रैकर वेब एप्लीकेशन हैव द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ डैशबोर्ड टू ओवर व्यू इनकम वर्सिज एक्सपेंस कैटेगरीज ब्रेक डाउन मीन विच कैटेगरी यू स्पेंड हाउ मच अमाउंट ओके एंड द ट्रांजेक्शन वेर यू कैन एड एड इनकम add expense and all transaction list here and categories you can add the categories what categories you want to add i will show you all the things step by step in this video so this is a user based web application user based budget tracker web app as you can see here uh, the login screen in front of you so in this web application each users have their own categories have their own income and expense not interference with other users okay so if you don't have any account on this web app you can simply click on this sign up here and add the username here and add the username and add the password here and just enter their name and click on this sign up so when you click on this sign up right now you can able to see the username is already exists so we just need to change our username from here and click on this sign up so as you can see a profile picture url is optional because if you want to add your profile picture later on after creating your account you can go to your profile setting and upload your profile picture here if you have any url of your picture you can add them not here google drive image uh, uh, google drive image link is not working in this web application if you paste here click on this sign up so when you click on this sign up right now you can able to see sign up successful you can now log in but I am going to log in as this user. First one, I just come here, enter my username and password, and click on this login. So I just log in here. Okay. So as you can see here, I am successfully logged in here. So if I refresh my web application, the session is not be going to the logout until you press on your logout button. If you don't press your logout button here, the session will not be. log out it will always remain logged in on your web browser so as you can see here in your go to your profile section so you can upload the image and change your profile picture and when you click on this and select any image and click on this update profile so when you click on this update profile the picture is going to be uploaded to your google drive so image uploaded successfully profile photo updated successfully so you can see here your profile picture is going to be successfully changed and the images will become in your google drive okay now go to your transaction sections as you can see here the date is automatically comes and you just select a uh, category how your category will be comes here for example you need a category here uh, this is a income section you need a category in income section go to the categories and enter your business okay business okay you can add any person name uh, from uh, from where you income received from where your income comes okay and select here income so when you select here income this particular category will be shown on your income drop down and click on this add category so when you click on this add category right now you can able to see category added successfully so this user have two categories okay uh, uh, uh go to your transaction sections and in the drop down you can see here the category but in the expense side no category in drop down available i will explain you the thing how you can add in your expense setting okay select here and click on this business and uh, here your description uh, why you um, receive this amount why your income this comes okay you receive the 1500 usd and click on this add income so when you click on this add income transaction added successfully so as you can see here your data is going to be updated and when you go to your dashboard you can see here the 1600 rupees 1600 dollars is your total income zero is your expense current balance is 1600 so you can see here the income comes to you salary uh, this percent 6% and business your 94% so you can see here okay okay same here uh, when you go to your categories 
and uh, you will buy a rent you will give him a rent uh, the rent is a expense category you just select here expense and click on this add category so when you click on this add category right now you can able to see your category is going to be added successfully here and go to your transaction section select rent and uh, what you want to pay here so go here and enter 60 uh, go here and pay here uh, the 350 okay and click on this add expense so when you click on this add expense right now you can able to see your transaction is going to be successfully added okay so as you can see here the expense the income and the income go to your dashboard section you can see here your total expense is 350 and your rent amount is right now the 18 percent okay now your current balance is 1250 okay so this is a system and right now you can see here the recent transactions which we have made on which date and you can easily track out that okay understand hope you like that okay now we go to uh now we will log out from here and just come here and enter our other username and click on this login so when i click on this login right now you can able to see i am successfully login as the other user go to our dashboard you can see here nothing found here okay when i go to the categories no categories is found here why because each users have their own categories have their own transactions okay you cannot able to see the other persons because you are a separate user you are an individual user not conflict with other so you will come here and uh, enter here rent and click on this category and click on this expense and click on this add category so when you click on this add category you also you can see here category added successfully go to your transaction sections and select a rent and enter any amount here and click on this add expense so when you click on this add expense you can see here you have the transactions added successfully go to your dashboard now you can able to see your balance is minus 100 okay so as you can see here you have not enough balance you will uh, this amount will be get borrowed by someone you have minus 100 now okay so in this way you can easily make a budget tracker web application uh to track your uh, to track your budget easily and efficiently and most important this web application is providing you the mobile friendly interference okay so you don't need to hesitate to uh, use this on your mobile phone so hope so you like this video you like this concept and you like my efforts on this web application so uh we will meet you in our next video until that i will get a uh